wish I brought my sunglasses. It's so bright. Last time I brought them with me, I scratched them. I don't feel comfortable carrying them with me. Uh, what am I gonna do? Hi, this is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. This week, I'm crafting this sunglasses case. So, let's get to it. Okay, first start by rolling out your leather. You're gonna want, oh, make sure you have a firm surface and cut out your template on that surface. Here, I'm gonna use my tiny anvil to trace out the template that I have here. This is a template I did in Illustrator. Here, I'm also marking the holes where the uh, hardware is gonna sit. Next, I'm using my Berger Blanchard knife to cut out the traced template. Here I'm actually punching out those holes to put the hardware in the piece. Then I'm going to bevel the top and bottom of all the exposed edges. the internal piece is half inch wide by three inches long and I'm also going to put some holes in it with a rotary hole punch. That's going to add some structure to this piece. And here I'm just marking out where I want that to sit. I'm using tokenol to burnish this piece. I decided to use a uh, hand wood burnisher this week. Also burnishing with canvas. Here I'm just using a wing divider to mark the stitching grooves. And then it's just a matter of adding your logo. Next up, grab your hardware. And then just install your hardware. Using the uh, oh yeah flip, flip, yeah you got it. Make sure you're facing it the right way while you're going to install your hardware. Here I'm just using Eco Weld to glue up this piece. And I'm using these small binder clips to set the piece together. From there it's just a matter of hammering in the stitching holes. Here I'm going to be stitching up the piece with Vinamo MBT number no. 5 brown thread. Make sure you stitch both sides. dark in here so let's turn on the light. Here I'm just sanding the edges of the piece with the rotary dremel tool. Then I'm going to then bevel with a zero craft tool beveler. Then I'm going to go through a number of different grits ranging from 400 all the way up to a thousand to get a nice soft edge before I'm going to burnish and then polish with tokenol and then beeswax. First, starting off with a wood burnisher. And then using some canvas. And here's that beeswax. I like to pre-soften the beeswax with a lighter. That way that when I burnish it, it just takes on a little easier. final hardware but before I show you that let's cut them the next day
so much for watching this video. This was a really fun build and a little challenging because I've never done something quite like this before. This is more of a specific size to my pair of sunglasses. Uh, if I were to make this available, I would probably make it a little bit larger so it's like a one size fits most situation. But uh, I do like the style and I want to do something a little different for the closure here. Besides that, I'm quite pleased with it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. That shows me that you want to see more content and more videos like this. I'm on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather. Go ahead and give it a follow so you can see some process photos and keep up to date with what I'm working on. And other than that, I'll see you next week.